Hello, dear Christian friends. The peace of the Lord Jesus be with you today and always. You know, in just a little bit over a week, it will be Ash Wednesday, which signals the beginning of Lent. Lent is a 40-day journey from Ash Wednesday to Easter, in which the Church focuses on the suffering and death of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is important that we know all about the suffering and death of our Lord Jesus Christ, because first of all, He suffered for us. Second, God restores His creation that Satan, through his lies, tried to destroy through the passion of our Lord. Through the passion of our Lord, God restores order and healing to his world. Isaiah, in his 53rd chapter, is brutally detailed and honest when he describes the suffering of our Lord. He said, Surely he took up our infirmities and carried our sorrows. Yet we considered him stricken by God, smitten by him, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. And by his wounds we are healed. You see, Satan is called the father of lies. He lied from the very beginning. He lied to Adam and Eve, and tragically, Adam and Eve decided, chose to believe a lie rather than the word of God. And they paid the price for it. They were expelled from the Garden of Eden, thankfully not from God's heart, just from the comforts of this life on earth. There are consequences for those who choose to believe lies rather than the truth. The Gospel reading for the very first Sunday after Ash Wednesday, the first Sunday in Lent, talks about the three lies that Satan told Jesus, trying to win him over to his cause. Jesus didn't even acknowledge them. He just used the Bible to fire back at him and silence him, and Satan left him. The source of the truth is the Bible, and the truth overcomes lies. The source of the truth does not lie in our intelligence or in our education or in our possessions or position, not in social media. The truth is found in the Bible. And the truth will always overcome the lies. The peace of the Lord Jesus be with you today and always. So long.